So nine of the next 23 against Winnipeg and 15 of the next 30 for the Leafs are against either Winnipeg or Montreal. And I believe both teams are going to make the playoffs. If everything is equal and everyone is healthy, if you're the Maple Leafs, which team do you think would scare you more in a best of seven series, Montreal or Winnipeg? I'm going to say Montreal. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Montreal. Yeah. Okay. Why I, so? Uh, um, so the goalies, I, I'm i still going to say they're a wash, mainly because I thought Carey Price was unbelievable last night. And I'm like, maybe, you know, he can emerge from his start too. So I, I'd say the goalies are a wash because I think Hellebuck's terrific. Montreal's defense is clearly better. I, I don't think there's really, you know, much – much debate about about that. Uh, the forwards, man, Winnipeg's got a great group of forwards. They they really do. But the deficit from Winnipeg's forwards to defense to Montreal's forwards or defense to forwards, I, I think it's it's tighter in Montreal. Like their their forwards aren't as much a liability perhaps as Winnipeg's defense are. I think they can skate. I think they would be a pain to play against in a playoff series. And I quite like the way they've played under under Ducharme. I hate the way they play overtime. I don't get what they're doing. That last night, I was I tried to poke my eyes out, but I missed. <laughs> and I had to watch it right to the end. But my my goodness, if they never get to three on three again, that'd be a good thing. But I I there's something about that team. I still think they're a good team. I I agree, but I I personally think Winnipeg because I don't know. I'd like to reserve my comment for after the trade deadline because i think chevy's going to add a left shot defenseman and if you can add a left shot defenseman like pionk is we were talking about underrated players i think this neil pionk's a really really good player and underrated when it comes to northern players like up in canada you got morrissey you can add one more in there that that is a guy now you got Demello. like they, they they could have a four that was really solid and I, I think, and I know there'd be an argument with this, but it's, I think Winnipeg has the best top nine as far as balance in, in the Northern Division because that third line is strong. And then, you know, Hayes, we were talking about like Kyle Connor kind of even being a forgotten guy, and he's a guy who had 38 goals in he's 70 just games a great last player. year. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's almost an X factor, which shouldn't, shouldn't be the case. It's, it's right. definitely undervaluing what he brings. I'd also, I agree with the concept that. You know, Montreal feels like a team that is willing to play a little bit nasty, a little bit heavier, and kind of come at you in waves. I don't think Winnipeg gets enough credit for that. Like, Wheeler is a tough dude. Like, he he, he makes he leans on you. Shifley's a big guy. Rob, that Dubois. third line is big. Like they Lowry, move. you know, yeah. like that cop. Like I don't think it'd be fun to play Winnipeg in a seven-game no, series. I, I, two things off of Noodles, off of what you were talking about. One, you're cheating because you're saying you want to see to the deadline. That's <laughs> right. Cheating. Well, right. you're right. You're, no, but I, I'm anticipating that, and I think, like, in all full disclosure, I'm anticipating the Leafs making a move because I think they need a top six le left winger or a top nine for sure. They need to add somebody like Tampa added at the deadline, a Coleman, that type of player. But I think Chevy's going to add a defenseman, so that'll balance what we're talking about, their deficiencies out. Okay, the second thing is, as you were talking, the one thing for sure, and we'll watch it in these games here, that Winnipeg can do better than Montreal is match up those, the, the size of those top two centers. Right. Like for Montreal, you've got Suzuki and Dano. They're not especially big guys. Um, you know, Toronto's top two centers are pretty big guys. Like Matthews is a monster. And Tavares has, has size. He's not the quickest guy around, but he's got size. It's a problem to match up against defensively. Well, Winnipeg's got these two giants now. Like Dubois is a hell of a player. We'll just go back to the bubble last year. He shredded them. And and then, of course, you got Shifley, who's – who's a terrific player. I, look, I had to pick – Hayes gave me this crappy question like he always does. <laughs> it's an outstanding question. It's a you know, perfect Tuesday hypothetical. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't disagree with you. I think Montreal <laughs> plays more of a, a playoff style. 
And I think that's where you went. Like, they play, they play, they're not shy to be physical. If they're on the top of their game, they have speed, and they'll hit you in waves, kind of like if they played at, like we saw the first 10 games, then they would be a problem. I just look at Winnipeg's overall, and as you, you laid it out, Ray, down the middle, depth, and you got the goalie. Like, you know, Hellebuck's a hell now, of a goalie. Hellebuck, yeah. 